and then hearing you talk about this first, it makes sense why we're together. And we're two people that met each other a little bit later on. Zoe was 57 when I found her. (laughs) There was a question on Twitter from somebody who's been watching videos for a long time. I think her name was Cece. Uh Cece Sabathia. And she pitched for the New York Yankees. Uh And uh, she did such a great job. Thank you for uh, taking over so there wasn't silence. Oh, and so here's sorry. CC's question. <laughs> My bad. Uh, needed to screenshot it because it was slightly too long in a tweet. I don't think I could explain without. Well, explaining. Am I right? Sometimes huh. you need space to do that. Um, any advice you have? So this young lady, CC, uh, gave me a tweet and said, I've been watching your like uh, walk and talk videos for... Uh, I guess back in the day, but also recently to get her through things. And that was really nice because that was a big, important part of my life. Mm -hmm. And it uh, makes me feel good. I always wanted those to be around forever just in case they were helpful. Uh And everything has like a fucking three-day shelf life now. So for people to go back to those means a lot to me. So here's this. Obviously, it didn't fix anything because she still has problems. So I obviously made one too few of those videos and didn't, couldn't take care of everything. CC writes, <coughs> Oh God. One thing I've been doing since my breakup in January is focusing on me and building myself up, becoming a stronger woman, more confident. I had a great 25th birthday. I moved out and into my own apartment in the Midwest. What's your rent? I want to know what your rent $7. is. $7. 750 Yeah. Uh, I even got a promotion recently. Woot, woot. And big ups to you for getting that. However, part of that is figuring out what I want out of a relationship. And so far, I've had a few failed attempts at dating. I'm starting to worry it's because I have high expectations and that I will never be happy with anyone. Hmm. So being in this new location and knowing hardly anyone is difficult. And I'll thank you to keep your pens in your hands while I'm reading. This, and I found it very hard to stay motivated in this climate. You mean like the Midwest climate or political? I never feel like during anything, cleaning, cooking, et cetera. Hear that, Zoe? Mm -hmm. So two questions, how can I stay motivated and am I wrong for setting the bar a bit higher and knowing what I want? Question mark. CC. So in, I guess she's asking, you know, go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell no, I'm just think. kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Hell yeah. So as far as like your failed attempts, uh, in dating, I think that, I don't know how long you you were dating that person, um, but when you uh, getting out there is good. Dating around and seeing kind of like what you that's how you kind of learn what you want in a, a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Like you date a bunch of people and you try to figure out what are the qualities uh, that you want and what are some of the qualities that you might put up with. Um, I don't think that you have to, I think I don't think you should settle. I think that you should still keep dating because clearly you haven't found the next person that you're going to date seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, and date yourself. You know, like I've, I've said this for years, like learn what you want from yourself before you want something out of someone else. Because once you start to be with someone, once you do start seriously dating someone, you tend to kind of shift the way you are a little bit. And that happens in any relationship, mm-hmm. right? Like you kind of, uh, there, there tends to be like an ebb and flow, like, in, uh, with, you know, a significant other. It, am I making sense? Yes. Um, so, you know, 
find, figure out who you want to be in a relationship before you start a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because dating yourself is only going to help you date other people. Yeah. I think that's any kind of relationship. If you want to get to know people more, especially like, and that's like the highest tier of person, the person you're going to choose to spend the rest of your life with or any of your time with mm -hmm. can't get any of it back. So the people that you spend it with should be held in high regard. Mm -hmm. You should have high standards for your friends and high standards for especially people that you want to have sex with yeah. forever. Right. You know? And, uh, that's obviously a stupid way to put it, but you know, I'm just trying to be silly. Yeah. Um, that I think people who settle, um, as long as you're not being like unfair, you know, it's like you, you give whoever you want a chance, but if they don't vibe with how you want things to be, then hold out until you find what you want. Right. People who settle are the kind of people who hate their lives. Right. Later on down the line. Yeah. You know, and I'm just realizing, thinking back to like, you know, all the things I said in my, my early and mid twenties in those videos and stuff like that. And then hearing you talk about this first, it makes sense why we're together and we're two people that met each other a little bit later on. Zoe was 57 when I found <laughs> her. Can take. And, um, uh, but we both knew what we want wanted by that point. <laughs> and we both had really high standards yeah. for ourselves because yeah. we liked ourselves um, on our own. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Yeah. And as far as staying motivated, I know it's tough. And they're, you know, I, like I said, we've talked about this a couple times before, but I just keep making little projects for myself and giving myself things to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And that's really all it is. As someone who has, you know, done a lot of work to disconnect from the future, giving myself things to do and things to keep myself busy and things to look forward to making. Like I just bought all this shit for my camera that makes me look forward to taking photos so much. So now I got to find things and people and places and events to photograph you know and that's just one small aspect of what i've been doing to keep myself busy and that could be a full-time job in itself mm -hmm. and then uh i was talking to another comedian friend of mine who's kind of um just bummed out about where he is and how he feels in relationships to what he does for his job and what he likes to make and i'm like what do you have fun doing and he's like, well, I have fun doing, you know, this podcast or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I was like, it's great to hear that even if you're kind of bummed out about everything else that's going on, if there's one thing that you feel particularly passionate about and have fun doing, just keep doing that yeah. and having fun doing it. And you never know what else that is going to lead to. Right. Like, uh, you know, when you, that's the beauty of like breaking up and like, kind of reinventing yourself, you know? I know it sucks and it's hard and, it's, you know, all of these things, but, you know, you shouldn't have to or want to settle for something that doesn't make you so happy. Mm -hmm. And these failed attempts are just lessons, like tiny lessons. Yeah. For, and, you know, maybe really bad, funny, uh, one night stand type stories. I mean, yeah. it doesn't have to be one night stand, but you know what I mean? Think about it like this. You want to microwave your food for the rest of your life? Yeah. Cause that's fine. Yeah. You know, yeah. it makes it warm. Yeah. But it's not good. I mean, it does the trick for the time being, right? Sometimes. Yeah. And then sometimes you're like, why the fuck did I do that? Right. Now the cheese is weird. <laughs>